I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. Remember that time former President Bill Clinton said, no I didn't, and then, yes I did, about an inappropriate relationship with then White House staffer Monica Lewinsky? Well, 15 years ago, on January 19th, 2001, he admitted to knowingly making false statements in a case brought against him by Lewinsky. Clinton avoided jail time, but was fined $25,000 and temporarily lost his law license. Upon making the deal, Clinton said in a statement, I've apologized for my conduct, and I've done my best to atone for it with my family, my administration, and the American people. But it seems the whole concept of forgive and forget doesn't apply here. Bill's sexual history has been a frequent topic of conversation in the 2016 race for the White House. In recent weeks, Donald Trump has used Bill's infidelity to cast Democratic contender Hillary Clinton in a bad light to female voters. And I said, look, if you bring up the women card, I'm going to bring up the women card too, and I'm going to be talking about your husband and what happened with women. He posted this video on his Instagram and told Fox News Hillary worked with her husband to destroy women he was involved with. As for Hillary's closest rival on the Democratic stage, Senator Bernie Sanders told NBC debate moderators a question about Bill's sexual history was, quote, annoying. I'm going to debate Secretary Clinton, Governor Malley, on the issues facing the American people, not Bill Clinton's personal behavior. So Hillary can be happy. Sanders, at least, is trying to keep Bill's dirty laundry out of the race. But will American voters be able to push it out of their minds when they hit the polls? For Newsy, I'm Jay Struberg.